In this fifth video on corporate actions, we're going to take a look at a very important aspect of corporate actions, especially a type of corporate actions that comes under the confusion category for many of the participants in workshops. This is the topic on dividends. While many of us during our courses on BCom and BBA have learned about dividends and how it is calculated, there's a lot of difference between how it is computed for the purposes of fund administration. So let's take a look at the differences between cash dividends and script dividends if you are a fund administrator working with a fund accounting company in corporate actions. Hedge funds invest in large corporates and when these corporates generate significant amount of profits, they distribute these profits to the shareholders by way of dividends, thus making the shareholder a very happy person. But how are these dividends announced and calculated. I have already uploaded a video on important dates in corporate actions. I will share the link of that video in the comment section below. But let's try and understand how these dividends are computed. As a background of corporate actions, corporate actions can be of two categories, voluntary and mandatory. These are very clear to most of the participants. What causes confusion among some participants is the corporate actions called as mandatory with choice. So a voluntary corporate action is when the investor decides whether they want to participate in the corporate action or not, like a rights issue. A mandatory corporate action is when the corporate action is mandated to the investors and they have no choice to take it, no choice but to accept it. But in mandatory with choice, there is a choice given to the investor, the form of which they want to receive it in. So in which category do dividends fall? If the dividends are announced as cash dividends, then it's a mandatory corporate action. <coughs> if the dividends are announced as a choice that the investor has to exercise, then it's a mandatory with choice. So if it's a dividend announcement wherein the investor has a choice, they then have to choose between cash dividends and script dividends. If such an announcement is made by the company, then in such a case, the dividend default option will be mentioned by the company that is issuing the dividends. Is that clear? So therefore, if the investor forgets to choose between cash dividends and script dividends, then the default option will be exercised by the company and thereafter it is announced and distributed to the shareholders. Yours truly asked on the YouTube community page of my channel a question about cash dividends versus script dividends. And this question, you know, made me make this video because I found that many of the participants were a little confused about cash dividends versus script dividends. So let's understand cash dividends. Now, in most Indian companies, cash dividends or most Indian accounting courses, I wouldn't say companies, Indian accounting courses, dividends are announced as a percentage of the par value. So participants get confused if there is no par value, then how do we calculate dividends? But if you look at American companies or Western European companies, companies of Singapore, etc., they declare dividends as a dollar value per share. Okay, And that has now become the most accepted norm across the world. Let's take an example of how this announcement appears if it is a dollar value per share. Hari Hedge Fund, my favorite hedge fund, owns 100,000 shares of Galaxy Inc. And Galaxy Inc. has declared a cash dividend of $1 per share. What does this mean? What is the dividend entitlement for Hari Hedge Fund? Now see, this is a mandatory corporate action. Okay, because the company has declared a cash dividend. It is not declared a mandatory with choice okay <clears throat> if it had declared a mandatory with choice which we'll see in the next slide then there will be some corporate action response that is needed from the fund accounting firm but if it is not mentioned <clears throat> then the dividend entitlement will be calculated very simply in this we see that there is no mention of the face value or the power value of galaxy inc and the hedge, fund has, the hedge fund is going to receive dividends as a number, dollar number per share. 
So let's understand how we calculate the dividends over here. The number of shares the company owns is 100,000. The dividend per share is $1 per share. Therefore, the dividend entitlement is $100,000. All right, this is a very simplistic calculation where there is no mention of par value. Now, let's look at where there is a choice given to the investor. And the investor has to communicate the choice, the action that is needed. So, therefore, this is the cash versus stock dividends. Hari Hedge Fund owns 100,000 shares of Galaxy Inc. Galaxy Inc. declares a cash dividend of $1 per share. And they've also mentioned the reference share price as $50. What is the reference share price? The reference share price is the share price that is computed by the company, that is Galaxy Inc., on the basis of certain regulations announced by the SEC to find out the value of the share of the company Galaxy Inc. over the last six months on the New York Stock Exchange. In this, the company, that is the hedge fund, has to calculate what would be the dividend, cash dividend versus the script dividend. So now my question to y'all was in the in my YouTube channel, in my YouTube community page, as to what if the company, if Hari Hedge Fund decides to exercise the option that is mandatory with choice and they go in for the script dividend, how much dividend will they receive? So what is the dividend entitlement? If they choose cash dividend, they will get 100,000 multiplied by $1, that is $100,000, which we've already discussed. But if they choose script dividend, we now have to calculate how many shares they're going to get in lieu of that $100,000 worth of dividend. Okay, so cash dividend, they're going to get $100,000. If they choose stock dividends, then how much dividend will they get? That is calculated by first finding out the dividend entitlement. The dividend entitlement, as we have seen in the previous a few minutes ago, was $100,000. The reference share price announced by Galaxy Inc. is $50. And therefore, the number of shares is $100,000 divided by $50. The Hari Hedge Fund will get 2,000 shares if they choose to get the cash dividend by way of stocks. Okay? So in the case of stock dividend, there will be a new item that appears. That is the reference share price. This reference share price is calculated by the company from stock exchange data. Okay, and this cannot be uh, fudged by the company. This cannot be manipulated by the company. This is declared and announced every day by the stock exchange. And therefore the company will just have to take the closing prices of the last six months and take the weighted average and come up with the reference share price. So in this case, we have seen that if the com if Hari Hedge Fund decides to take cash dividend, they'll get $100,000. If they choose script dividend, they will get 2,000 shares in lieu of $100,000. So they will either get $100,000 dividend or they will get 2,000 shares instead of that $100,000. Okay, it's not and, it is in lieu of that. And how do we know it is in lieu of that? Because it is very clearly mentioned that it is mandatory with choice. That's all from me, your learning partner, Sushila Harihanan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep learning, keep growing along with me. Thank you very much.